Welcome back to the official Young Hunger podcast. My name is Michael Burgess and today we are standing outside the Grand Central to speak to Businessman of the Year 2022, multiple time TEDx speaker and the man behind the Think Network. That man is Mr. Gary Doherty. Gary, how are you, sir? Fantastic. You? All good. Very good, very good. good Thanks for getting sent down with you, Yes, yes. Thanks for coming it's, on. It's a nice place. Uh, yeah. Grand Central, my first time in it. Is it the first uh-huh, time? And it's yeah. fitting yeah. that we're in it together. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was in a, a couple of months ago for like a graduation, and I was saying to Ross, this is somewhere that I want to be mm, doing a podcast, yeah. but never sort of thought who we're going to do it with, and then yeah, it's sort yeah. of linked in. Ah, you got the right guy. <laughs> do, you know, do you know what? you know what I was thinking in, in the way here today? Uh-huh. Life's about feeling good. Mm feel good in here mm-hmm. you know it's not all about material possessions I don't mean that yeah. it's, that's okay too by the way if you want material possessions and they make you feel good that's great too and I do like that yeah. but you know places like this mm. they only add to how you feel yeah, they can yeah. only add positively to how you feel yeah, yeah. so it's fitting we're here mm. that's, you're, see your, your schedule yeah. it's one of the busiest I know yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> see out, just trying to even just getting this down I'm working with you yeah. here speaking this but one thing I was actually going to say to you was whenever I was doing a wee bit of research on you yeah um, the thing that kept coming up was, and I quote, I help people be seen online. Tell yeah. me about that or tell me what yeah, you do yeah, yeah, for those yeah. who maybe don't know who Gary is. Yeah, what, what, I, what I love to do is, what I'm very passionate about is making sure or supporting, I've actually changed that word, helping to supporting. Um, I like, just using my language carefully, I like to support ambitious individuals to be seen, to be heard, to be visible, to be respected, to have impact, to have reach, to to add value to people's lives. And do you know why? Why? Because I was that person that w- craved that. Mm-hmm. I wanted to be more, do more, be seen more, be credible, uh, to be respected more, to be heard, to be noticed, because I felt that value deep inside me to give. And that's why I do this for other people. Yeah. So I do it with real passion, you mm-hmm. know, because I really mean it and feel it. Because the people I'm helping, I am or I was. So I love what I do and people talk about loving your dream. I love my reality, man, honestly. I love my dream and reality together. And I said this to a guy yesterday who used to be um, with Bob Proctor and so on and I was saying to him, you know, he says, you're loving your dream. I said, no, this is my reality. Yeah. This is, this is my life. I like that. This isn't a dream. Were you always like that? I was always a dreamer. Yeah. Still a dreamer. Uh-huh. Um, but I think as you grow and your self-image grows i.e. you realize that you're worth and you're worth the 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 success that's out there for you to achieve when you actually are worth it Mm -hmm. then you can receive it and expect it into your life so the answer to your question was no i wasn't always like that but um always that inquisitive mindset always Mm -hmm. had that mindset that floated into areas where it maybe not shouldn't have been but yeah most people wouldn't be (laughs) what were you like as a young man in school sort of growing up were you that young ambitious man no 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 I was, in my TED talk, in my first TED talk, um, I talk about being that guy at school that had no confidence, no self-esteem, um, low self-esteem, no confidence, no self-belief, like very little self-belief anyway. And I suppose that's from coming from an era where, you know, in families it wasn't installed, you know, it wouldn't have been, you know, emotional intelligence and all those things wouldn't have been talked about around the dinner table would they yeah you know yeah, i don't yeah. know about your house but mine certainly wouldn't have been mm. so i grew up with really no no real belief or no real no real direction uh and for myself or even an advising level but then that there i, I met somebody that, that believed in me and told me had the courage to tell me he believed in me mm-hmm. like i told you we had lunch one day i said to you you know, go global, do your thing. You know, I believe in you, you do great things, your content's amazing. You know, you're, you, you think big, mm. dream big. Don't be scared to think big and, and, and dream big. You know, people are scared. Yeah. A lot of people are scared to do that because they think they can't. Yeah. Stop thinking. People think too much. Mm-hmm. Ironically, I have companies think network, right? Yeah. Yeah, but yeah. you can think too much. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. You can think too much what you don't do. Mm. Is that what changed? Do you think being I, told I, that? De- definitely, def- oh, definitely. Definitely. My father-in-law said at my wedding in front of 300 people, I believe in Gary. Gary has what it takes to make it in life. And he was a very successful man. Successful in lots of ways, you know, in relationships. 
you know, as he was a very wise man. He advised a lot of people. He was a, a he was a elder in this church. He went out to the communities and just advised and talked to people and passed on wisdom. He was a great man. He was a Christian man, mm -hmm. and he was a man that left a big void in my life when he left about seven years ago. Huge influence in my life. I credit a lot of what I do to him. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's some guy. Mm. I wish you could have met him, you know. And, and now you're businessman of the year, 2022. Rightfully so. <laughs> rightfully so. Yeah. <laughs> you're right, but and you see when I won that, yeah. it wasn't lost in me that night thinking about him. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. That was for him. Mm -hmm. And you see if I had got speaking on a mic, they actually, they actually deliver. Or, you know, they say on the Ulster tap or anybody listening to this, we should have been. Yeah. We should have been up. You've been able to say this is what we feel about it. Um, I would have credited it to him. Mm -hmm. You were saying in school before, yeah. Before when you were recording, but in school you, you couldn't have spoke. Whenever yeah. someone asked you to read, yeah, 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 you yeah, just yeah. refused. I just, just told him, no. I just said, no, I'm not doing it. Teacher uh -huh. said, you have to. I said, What's, what happened there from, from going to that? To no business? confidence, man. No confidence, no mm. self-esteem, no belief in myself. Think Overthinking. Mm -hmm. Thinking people are going to laugh if I made a mistake. What if I stuttered? I don't have a stutter. But what if I did? What if I said a, de what if I said a word wrong and everybody laughed? Yeah. Worst case scenario, no belief. Mm -hmm. and, that's, and that's, I went through school like that. Mm. But I was very popular. I was on all the football teams. No problem, you know, having girlfriends. Uh, big, big, big friend groups. Outwardly, I was in the most pop. You know, not the, well, it does matter when you're young. Yeah, it does. You know, you know, you know it's your you, world. Yeah, you're it's, young. It's, it's your world when you're young. And I was very popular amongst my peers and all that sort of stuff. And no more popular than anybody else. But I was popular enough, and I, was, I had a good friend group, and I floated, I floated around everybody, friends, you know. Yeah. And um, but inwardly, I was very anxious. Mm -hmm. You know, at class, my foot would have been tapping under the table, my hands would have been sweating. You know, scared, hope a teacher doesn't ask me a question. Yeah. Not making eye contact with them. You know, inwardly, I was feeling that every day. Mm. Every day. Mm -hmm. Now you're doing TED, uh, TEDx talks? Aye, so, it, man, but you know why? That's nearly, it came full circle because I almost wanted to face that. Mm. And smash that. Yeah. And not carry that through my whole life. Yeah. Some people do. Yeah, some people do, and, and I, I think subconsciously I was gravitating to doing something that I, sh that I shouldn't really do, yeah. based on my past yep. and the way I felt. Mm -hmm. And I think that's why I dared to be great doing it. And now I am. Yeah. You know, talk, talk to me about the TEDx. How did you, how did you, you did, you've done two talks. I've done two talks, but you know, that, that's not even my finest achievement with TEDx. You know, there was only TED, TEDx Stormont in Northern Ireland, really, that was a regular feature. Yep. I think there'd been one or two in history, but I mean, it wasn't a regular feature in Northern Ireland, TEDx. We blew that up. Mm -hmm. We blew that up. And I just had a vision for that. I thought, do you want to know something? Why has it not been in my home city, Derry, London, Derry, depending, you know, where you're from and who you are? But I decided I'm going to bring it to my city. I hadn't been to the city, 26 years, people had failed, blah, 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 blah. Mm. And eventually we got it. Three times we applied and eventually we got it. And that was an amazing achievement. We brought it to the city, we over 100 plus speakers. But my biggest achievement with the TEDx, well, my two, my two. One was the TEDx Derry London Derry Youth. Mm -hmm. We partnered with Carl Fitzsimmons, big shout out to Carl, Young Enterprise. We partnered with them and we did a youth event in the city and I brought all the youths from Catholics, schools, Protestant schools, integrated schools, all together. Yeah. And an event that was never been done before. There'd never been a youth in fact, there's never been a youth event in the whole of Northern Ireland in history, a TEDx event. Mm -hmm. It was the second only in the island of Ireland in history. Even that's ambitious. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it'd never been done before. Mm. But we had the vision to do it. You know, most TED Organisers want to do a TED event for themselves in their local community, but we wanted to go deep with it. We, and that's fine, by the way, they're doing great work, but we wanted to go deep. We had the woman event, we had the studio licence, we had the youth licence. And I wanted to add real deep, meaningful value forever, legacy. Mm. We created 19 youth TED speakers um, in Derry, London Derry. And that's forever. That's long after I'm gone. That's on the YouTube channel forever. And it's not be my name on it. And not be my face on it, but I'll know you were part of that. It. I was part of that. Yeah. That that I actually brought it. Mm. You know, so that's where I got my fulfilment with the TEDx. That was my my finest achievement with TEDx. And the second one was my daughter doing mm. a TED talk. Mm. My daughter had a similar school experience to me, even more severe. She was bullied, you know, and and so on, and had and had some desperate thoughts. 
and she went on to do a TED talk. Mm. And, and she's doing this great. She, she's the most great Britain final last year, uh, top 30 in the whole of UK. Um, this year she'll be top 10. <laughs> and and next, get that in there. Yeah, and then the following year she'll win it. Mm. It's good. It's good. That, that that's what I get most fulfillment from seeing my daughter flourish doing that and seeing the 19 years doing their TED talks. Mm. There's something really interesting about you that I wanted to bring up was how open you are. I was watching some of your stories there, yeah. I think a week or two ago, yeah, yeah. and you were saying how you're feeling this <coughs> like a negative mm. sort of emotion and how you know it's coming and how you know it's going to pass. Yeah. And I feel like maybe on Instagram and stuff, you don't really see that side of yeah, people, yeah, but yeah, you're yeah, very yeah. open yeah, yeah, yeah. and let people see that. Yeah, and I think it's really important. Social media is great, right? Yeah. We all use it. Everybody listening to this will probably be watching it from your reel on your Instagram. Mm -hmm. So you're on it, yeah. we're on it, we're, and it's great. Social media is fantastic. Mm -hmm. What would you do without it in terms of business and connectivity and content and reaching people and impacting people? It's fantastic. Yeah. But there's also a danger of wanting to live other people's lives and see somebody driving around a Lamborghini or somebody, somebody in the holiday homes in Marbella and somebody's traveling the world and somebody's dripping in designer gear or somebody's living a life beyond their wildest dreams. And that's all good, by the way. But I just think it's very important to acknowledge it's not all like that. Yeah. You know, we were talking off camera about my own achievements and what I'm doing it comes with a sacrifice. It comes with entering new territories that you are very uncertain and, and you feel maybe slightly uh, lacking in confidence in them. And you have to build yourself up and you have to talk to the right people and you have to keep moving, you have to keep going, and you have to keep moving through it. And, um, you know, I just felt it was very important to share that. And I felt a bit overwhelmed as it turned the new year because I don't make New Year's resolutions really. It's just more intentions. This is what I'm going to do and I'm going to do it. Mm -hmm. It's as simple as that. Not even goals. Goals is, goals is almost a negative word to me. It's my goal. You know, I'm going to try. Mm -hmm. I'm How come? To, uh, I don't know, it's just, it, it, it just lacks intention. Uh, you, you know, for me personally, I sound like a contradiction <clears throat> and I get it. And I've talked about goals before and all the rest of it. But I've just decided I'm doing it and then I go and do it. It's yeah. not, goal is almost like you have to climb that mountain to achieve it. I'm just doing it. Mm. You know, there's no chance that I'll not climb the mountain. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah, it's it just is. a definite, it's a purpose. I'm just going for it. Yeah. Go, uh, you know, so goal, goal is almost co has a negative connotation for me. Mm. Slightly. Yeah. Slightly. Mm. You know, it's probably psychology that I'm talking to myself about it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah Obviously, yeah. it doesn't have a negative connotation. Like, Google it. Yeah. The word goal is probably a positive word. You set goals, go and do them. But for me, it's past that. Mm. It's all intentions. Mm -hmm. It's a definite, it's a purpose. Yeah. It's choices. Mm. I'm doing it. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to do it. And yeah. I am doing it. Yeah. And I've already done a lot of it. Like you did with the Think Network? Yeah. Yeah. How did that? That was sort of the first yeah. thing in Northern Ireland of that magnitude yes. nearly, isn't it? Because me and Ross were at an event maybe back in, um, is it 10 Square back in March maybe? Yeah, yeah, last yeah, year. yeah, yeah. That was the first time we sort of yes, that's right. got meeting yourself. Yes, and, yes. Uh, how did you sort of come about doing that? Or? Do you want to know something? Back in 2017, I'm going to say it was, late 17, I wanted, I was just sitting thinking, I remember, I remember it well, I was sitting, and I've told you this as well, and I've said it publicly before, I, I was sitting on my sofa, and I was just thinking, you know, there's more to life than just working 95. Mm. Not that, you know, anybody working 95 and you're happy. Happiness is a goal, keep doing it. Yeah. But I wasn't, right? I wasn't work, happy working 95 for two, 300 pound a week. I wasn't happy with that, right? Yeah. And if somebody else is, keep doing it. That, for me, happiness is the goal, yeah. right? Mm. The goal, uh, <laughs> <laughs> right? Happiness is the intention. Yeah, so, yeah. so I just figured there's more to my life than this. And, and, and I was looking around for something to motivate me, mm -hmm. something to inspire me, something, something to do that was going to lift me. And it wasn't there. Nothing. I went on to Eventbrite, I looked for motivational speaking events. Uh, Tony Robbins in Las Vegas. Yeah. Remember, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like there's nothing. There's none here. Nothing. No. Like zero. Yeah. Any, anybody that was into personal development in five, six years ago in Northern Ireland, they were reading books, they weren't doing events. Yeah. Or very little, or at least I didn't know about them. Mm. Right? Mm -hmm. So I just thought, do you want to know something? I'm going to be the change that I want to see. I just decided. I remember, I remember it well. And uh, I just I made a wee graphic in Canva and I was thinking about my network and I was on LinkedIn at the time. Gavin Wall was inspiring me here in Belfast, talking about massive action. And I was, I was feeling like a man that was ready to take action. So that inspired, Gavin inspired me at that time. And I, I did a logo and I was thinking about my network and I thought, that'll do me. 
Think Network. Yeah. And we held a motivational speaking event in Derry. They're, they're very good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, listen, they're, they're, they're good. Um, some are better than others. Just yeah. depends on the turnout and the energy in the room. Yeah, many uh, of you don't know how many of uh, you sort of... Double figures, um, over right? uh, double figures. I, uh, I would say, including webinars over a pandemic, maybe twenty to thirty. Seriously? Yeah, yeah. I seen um, there was a quarter of years here, and it says that your first event is it eighteen people turned up. I well, twenty one people. Twenty one, twenty one, twenty one, twenty one, twenty one. Eighteen of them, the one you knew them or yeah, yeah, and it's funny. Eighteen. It's a funny story. Eighteen of them were there was eight speakers. Uh -huh. My wife, my daughter, my son, myself, cameraman. You know, <laughs> you can add it up. There wasn't too many. There <laughs> wasn't too many of the public turned mm. up to watch it. There was a few. There was a few. There was four or five. Yeah, well, that's pretty disheartening at the start. Maybe how did you? Do you want to know keep, something, man? Do you, know, do you want to know something? It was and it wasn't. You know, it was. It it would be if you. That's what you seen. Yeah. You know what I mean? If that's what you seen in your mind's eye. Yeah. Then you could could be. And there was moments where I thought that, but I chose to go look at it the other way and was. 21 more people than there was the night before. Yeah, There's 21 yeah. more people than there was ever before. Yeah. Ever. Yeah. It's 21 new people in a room talking about personal development and motivation and resilience and, you know, and self-confidence and all that stuff. And I thought, do you want to know something? That's a success. Yeah. We're off and running. Mm. And you've, you've had big, was it Scott Quigg? Boxer, yeah, our blue boss, yeah. MMA fighter, Joel M. Joel, 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 Pretty big, Joel. established. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brian on. Kennedy, the Irish singer-songwriter, yeah. Cleon O'Hara, Mammy Banter, Serena Terry, big shout out to Serena. Yeah. You know, she's fabulous, Lord, she's unbelievable. Mm. And Chris Suter, as you say, and like, aye, we've had them all, man. Yeah, yeah. We've had them all, the who's who in Northern yeah. Ireland, <laughs> similar to yourself yeah. on this podcast. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> there, there's like uh, more people global you work with now, isn't it? Yes, then? yes, yes, yes. You, you, know, you want to know something? I really, I'll tell you what happened, really, where I think that was stimulated from. I think it was the start of the pandemic mm. when everybody went online. I realised very quickly I was getting to know people all over the world as, as much as I was knowing my next door neighbour. Mm -hmm. I don't even know my next door neighbour's name. <laughs> like genuinely. <laughs> I'm not even joking. I don't yeah. know his name. Yeah. Obviously, I know who he is, do you see? <laughs> don't even know his first name or his second name, and I'm living beside him two years. But I've got a very, very close confidant in Texas and D Dallas, who's now a business partner, mm -hmm. and, I, and we chat every day. Yeah. See, we're, see, so yeah, so yeah. it was easy to think global. Yeah. You know, I talk to him more than I talk to my mother and father. Mm -hmm. You know, so, so my, my friendships were becoming global. Mm -hmm. So it was very easy to, for business to become global. Yeah. It, it, listen, it's just how you think. Mm. Open your mind. Did that all come from networking? Or how important is networking think, to, for uh, you? I don't even... It's funny, like, you know, I tell people not to think too much and, 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 uh, and I probably don't... I'm not even fussed on the word network and my business is called Think Network, yeah. right? <laughs> I don't even network. I just build relationships with people. Mm. You know? That's network probably, is that the term? Google it, I don't even know what the term network actually, Google what the definition is. Mm. I, don't, I, don't, I, I build relationships with people. I add value to people's lives. I expect people to add value to my life. You know, I don't expect like a physical thing or anything, but I mean, we have, you have a relationship to people, you're either adding value or receiving value, right? Or yeah. it's nothing. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like you're adding value in my life. Hopefully I'm adding value in your life. Mm -hmm. That's a fruitful relationship. Yeah. And I build them all over the world. Mm. And um, I think I think it's just my personality as well. Mm. It's just my personality. You feel that nearly. It's just my personality. I like to get on with people. Yeah. Maybe sometimes I like to get on too much with people. Mm. You know that people pleasing. Like Chris Sutter, me and Chris Sutter, big shout out to Chris in Belfast here. Hey, Chris one, is on. Aye, yeah. but Chris is one of Belfast's finest, if not the finest. Yeah. Uh, I'm not in Belfast. <laughs> he's like a brother to me. Mm. You know, he's good, good man, good man. Yeah. And um, Chris would fall into that trap too. He would say it publicly, and I think. When you pull back from pleasing people or, yeah. lo or looking to please people, um, you can live a, f a freer life, you know, and that's that's a life I'm living now. Mm. You see with it, with the, that network, TEDx, yes. your whole, your everything. I have goal written here, but I know you don't like saying goal, but I'm going to say it here. No, listen, listen, you'll hear me contradicting myself numerous times, but listen, yeah. it's, it's like a positive psychology that yeah, I yeah. use to myself. I totally get the word goal. Mm, I mm. probably have it up on a whiteboard at home. Yeah. But sometimes when I'm speaking, I'm thinking to myself, I don't even like saying that. Yeah, and then, yeah. I'll, you know what I mean? Yeah. Sometimes it's when I really want to have intention. But what is, what's uh, your goal with everything? Where's your sort of, where are you looking to go? Where's your trajectory? I have financial objectives. Okay. Right? Um... I am going to be my family's first millionaire, multi-millionaire. Some people listening to this here in Northern Ireland, 
and think, oh God, he's greedy or, you know, money. Guess what? Yeah. Money's good. Yeah. You should all want money and a lot of it. And why not? You can do more good with it. You can live the life beyond your wildest dreams yeah. and make it a reality. You can help other people, you can donate to charity, you can sponsor, you can be more philanthropic with your lifestyle. Do you know, do you know, do you know what my goal do you know what my goal is and my intention? Yeah. To lead a life of philanthropy. Explain that a wee bit. Given all the time. Mm. Spend my life supporting people, investing in business, donating, mentoring, uh, going around the world, uh, helping and supporting other people. Living a life of philanthropy, that would be the ultimate for me. Mm -hmm. Just because I get so much fulfillment from that. Yeah. doesn't mean Gary's a do-gooder. I'm a very flawed character. Yeah. You know, uh, we all are. None of us are perfect. Mm -hmm. But that's that's the and ultimate. Being accountable with yourself to actually yeah, yeah, yeah. say be, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Being disciplined with yourself and, and actually making that happen. Yeah. I want to live a life of as much philanthropy as possible because selfishly, mm. it makes me feel good. Yeah. So I'm going to do more of it. Yeah, yeah. So there's a bit of selfish self-care there. Yeah, you know, yeah. if I could help that's you, fine if I help you, yeah, I I, I feel good. Yeah. Right. Mm. So why would I not help you more? If you're worth receiving of it, if you're doing something with the help. Yeah. Because that's another thing about helping people. Only help people that deserve to be helped. Mm. And when I say deserve to be helped, I mean do something with it. See, before, I think it was just whenever you were coming into lockdown. Yeah. You were saying you were able to like double or triple your income. Yeah, yeah, or yeah, something. yeah. How did that Just like of, that. Was that from just like that, going man. online? Or yeah, what yeah. Well, I'll tell you. I'll tell For you those who don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, of course. How can they do that? Th think, think network. Think network. You have to be creative. You have to be ambitious. You have to take wise counsel, not opinion. Everybody's got an opinion, and I listen to very few people's opinion, I can tell you. I, I seek wise counsel from people that have either done it, yeah. or know somebody that has, or have the knowledge. I'm not looking for any, any randomer's opinion. No disrespect to anybody, yeah. but I'm not. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I, want, I want its value, its, it, 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 its expertise, its wisdom, its knowledge. Opinions not interested in, yeah, not yeah. even interested in my own. Mm. <laughs> yeah. You know about anything. Yeah, yeah. It has to be, it has to be, has to be right. Mm. That's what I'm interested and in. And when you started, you said there, <clears throat> before film, yeah. or before filming, you didn't start with a scale, any scales, you didn't start with any nah. money, you didn't start with any nah. network of people, yeah. but you still started. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I, I started with ambition, I had, a, I had a vision in my mind what I wanted to do. I didn't know, I didn't know exactly, I just wanted to, I wanted to make sure people came together to support one another. Mm. I didn't know what that looked like, I didn't know that was going to be a business, I didn't know how to monetize that. I was doing free events, free yeah. to get in, free to speak, free, 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 mm. you know? getting yeah. a couple hundred pound of, of, of a sponsor for the room and that was me, away I went. Yeah, yeah. And um, then then the events got bigger and you were making a few thousand pound from ticket sales, but it's still not a business. Yeah. You know, you're doing that two, three, three times. Ah, you're doing that yeah, two, three yeah. times a year. Yeah. It's not a business. But then the, the pandemic hit and Alan Wallace, big shout out to Alan of Insta Belfast. Me and Alan were, we, we, you know, we don't live in each other's pockets, but we, we, we mastermind quite regularly um, uh, 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 with each other and uh, push each other on. And Alan said to me, you know, the word accountability was a word that was flying about. People were online and people were needing held accountable, you know, through, through, through ambitions they had or intentions they had or goals they had. That word's coming up a lot now. <laughs> uh, I'll help it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I love goals. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, so we, we, we started a private accountability group on Facebook charged 20 quid a head. And I remember, I remember, I remember having palpitations about charging it. No, that, that the whole people are going to pay me to be in a group for them to talk in the group about sharing what they're going to do and then wins and challenges. I was like, right, okay, this is new. Yeah. So we started charging 20 pound and people started jumping so in. Yeah, yeah. People started jumping in. We had about 50, 60 people in it in about two weeks. Uh -huh. I was like, okay, this is, this is, this is, this is, this is becoming a business. Yeah. 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 And then, Again, shout out down, we talked, to, we says then, you know, why don't you do a mastermind? And I'm very big into mastermind, Napoleon Hill, you know, mastermind theory uh, about the collective, the power of a collective and uh, having people from different genres with expertise that can add value. I, I, I believe massively in masterminds. Think and grow rich. Is yeah, that, think, that think that and grow rich, yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, so we developed a mastermind, an in-person mastermind yeah. and a global one. And people were paying X amount of pound to be in that. Right? 
and and the, the local one was two, 250 pound a month I had like 10 people in it in two weeks mm -hmm. global one was 350 or 400 pound a month and I had eight people on that in one week yeah so you can you do the maths yeah yeah, yeah. right I was, I was earning 300 pound a week mm. and then suddenly it was like five grand <laughs> you know or whatever it was yeah five yeah. grand a month mm. what did you do before business what development was? manager uh, yeah, yeah, business development manager, but I own my own business and all before too. But was uh, that your property. nine to five? Heard you've heard yeah, 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 nine yeah, 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 yeah. I was a business development manager for an apprenticeship provider, mm. um, and I was very good at it, but just hated it. Mm. You know? Um, Did you sort of know deep down this it wasn't for you? Either? Yeah, yeah, always, 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 always. But um, there's timing for everything in life. Timing for everything in life, and time, the timing mindset wise for me was back in 2018, 2019. I was growing, growing, growing. The side hustle, if you want to call it, was becoming a business. And then just one day, I just had enough. I had a I had an unfavorable uh, conversation with a boss, and I just thought, Do you want to know something? No. <laughs> See ya. Yeah, yeah. And I rang my wife and said, Collect me ASAP. I was at my work, I was in a company car, so I couldn't take the car. <laughs> and I was stranded, I was in Springtown Industrial Estate, and I said to my wife, collect me, get me out of here. Mm -hmm. There's more to life. You mm -hmm. know, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna go straight through the roof here. Mm -hmm. Take me. How long so, ago was that? Uh, that was in that was that was the first week of the pandemic. Was it? First week of the pandemic, uh, mm -hmm. I went full time in my own business. Mm -hmm. Was that ever scary or daunting or? No, I should have already built up the. Aye, that's right. You know yeah. what I mean? Should have already yeah. built up the income. It was a no-brainer. Yeah. It was like, why hadn't I done it six months before? There still is the wee, oh, uh, you know, the uncertainty. What if, what if those subscribers leave quickly and then yeah. you're, yeah, yeah. you know? But uh, just stuck with it. I just not even stuck with it, man. Just talk to myself. Talk mm. to myself. Do you know? Believe in yourself, Gary. You've got this. Mm. You know. I think that's a big thing. Self belief. Oh, massive, mass. Self talk. Self talk. Yeah. Self self talk. You know, you're always listening. Oh, like some of the stuff that you would th say to yourself, you wouldn't say to somebody else. Yeah. Through fear of offending them. Yeah. You know what I mean? But you'll mm. have no problem telling yourself you're you're useless if you have a bad day. Yeah. yeah. Or you're not good enough if you're if you're feeling not good enough. I don't I think talk. we're programmed to feel. Or yeah. To I don't talk like that, yeah. ever. And mm. if I do, I correct myself very quick. Mm -hmm. Very quick. When you're talking to your family, would you be very? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very, 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 very in tune with how I talk and speak to my children, even. Yeah. You know. Mm. Um, even if they made a mistake or whatever, mm -hmm. you know, I, I I'll talk in a language where 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 it may not be okay, but it's not the end of the world, you know, and they can mm. they can do better and be better the next time. Yeah. So no, I think I think language the language that we use with ourselves is very very important, mm. very important. And I play with words and even in my own psychology that you hear me talking about goals. I'm, I don't have goals anymore. I have intentions. I know what I'm going to do and I'm going to go and do it. And if I fail, I temporary fail. If I don't get them, I'll improve until I do, or I'll change. I'll change the intention. If 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 it's one that's not worth pursuing, you know, if the landscape changes and it's not doesn't it doesn't make sense. Um, so no goals anymore, intentions, and I'm doing them. Mm. See if it, we were sitting here in the Grand Central. Mm. See if a young entrepreneur came up to you. Yeah. And asked Gary, is there any advice you would give? Just sort yeah. of in that sort of broad yeah, yeah, process. Yeah. What would you sort of what would you say? Work on your mindset. Mm. First thing, work on your mindset, 100%. Work on your mindset, work on your self-belief. Work on the faith that you have in yourself. Work on the affirmations. Just do that self-confidence. Work on your mindset, your self-confidence, your self-belief. Mindset's everything. Mindset separates the good from the great. Yeah. I'm telling you now, I'm, com I'm convinced of it. I don't think it, I know it. Mm. I deal and work with people that are millionaires. I have billionaire friends. I have got clients who are like very, very famous football team, rugby team managers around the world. Massive, I can't name them, but they're very, very famous people. And, and, and mindset's everything. Mm. Everything. Mm. Like, honestly, yeah. I would say to any young entrepreneur, work on your mindset, work on that self-belief. The second thing I would tell them is, and in, in this order of priority, is um, be around more like-minded people. Be around more people that you can aspire to be like. Yeah. You know, somebody very famous or somebody very successful wealth and wealthy person said to me, Gary, if being a millionaire is one of your goals, one of your goals, which is now an intention, is if that is what you want to do, and it is, and I am going to be soon, said to me, hang around with three of them, you'll be the fourth. Think about that. Mm. If you want to be a millionaire, right? And yeah. anybody listening to this here, we all, you know, money, money's a thing we all need, the economy's a life, we need to pay for things, blah, blah, blah. It's just one of my intentions in life, um, is, is hang around with three millionaires every day. Mm. You'll be the fourth. Yeah. It's inevitable. 
How could you not be? Well, that's what you, you do. You talk to um, ambitious people yeah, yeah, on a global yeah. scale. Do you see like All a similarity in, the in their trait? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah do you yeah. see like, why they're successful on each person? Because yeah. they're talking to so many. Yeah. yeah, a lot of very successful people have similar traits. They expect they won. They expect they do well. They, they give quite a lot. They give in time, they give in money, they give in advice. If you're a person that deserves, they receive it. Yeah. Somebody ambitious, somebody that's doing good things, somebody that's adding value. Yeah. So they like giving, right? Um, they like, they expect to do well. Yeah. There's very little doubt when they're, when they're doing, you know, there's very little doubt that something's not going to go well. Mm -hmm. And even when it does, doesn't go well, they don't stay there. They quickly move. One of the habits I've, I've real seen of very successful people, they make, they make decisions quickly and change them slowly. They don't panic, no knee jerk, but they make them quickly. Yeah. They make them quickly, but, you know, they can do the research and then go boom. They don't, you know, there's no two, three, four, mm. five, six weeks. Oh, well, I won't. Ah, uh, yeah. No, <laughs> no. Indecisive nearly. Yeah, no, they're also. very decisive. Ah, uh, Very yeah. decisive. They make decisions and they make them quickly mm. and they change them slowly. Yeah. They change them slowly. If something's not working, yes, you talk about feeling fast and don't be wasting money and all that sort of stuff. And that is people, it. normal people are too yeah. indecisive. Yeah, oh, you definitely. Know, sort of, like definitely. You say, definitely, well definitely. Alone. And I'd have been guilty of that when I was younger too, you know, but not anymore. Mm. I know when something's for me now and I know when it's not. See, personally, hmm. what inspires you? What inspires you to be the Gary? Mm. Let's talk my about my, my family. Mm. My family. Mm. And I'll, I'll share something very honest, honestly with you, and I have done in a few forums before, but not maybe to the, audi the audience that you would have. You know, my family inspire me, and I'll tell you why. And everybody would say, Cleon O'Hara, one, one of my mentors, said to me one time, said to me in a call from the States, um, she says, Gary, what's your why? You know, why, why do you do what you do? Why do you want to do what you do? Somebody yeah. what you're asking me what inspires you to do what you do. Yep. And I said, oh, my family. And she says, very good, you and millions of others. Everybody do it for their family. Now tell me why you do it. What inspires you? And I thought, sure, I've just told you. Yeah. And then she, she says, why are you doing it for your family? And I went, oh. I said, I want them to be happy. I want them to, to have everything they ever wanted. I want them to... You know, want them to enjoy good things in life. I want them to have opportunities. All that. And she goes, right, okay. She's just very good. She says, why is that important to you? Why do you want them to have good things? Why do you want them to be happy? I said, oh. I said, I want them to be happy because um, I want them to be proud of me. I want them to be proud of me. I want them to be happy and go, my, you know, he's a man, he helped, you know, that I wanted that adulation from my own family. Yeah. I wanted them to look at me with pride. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> then she says to me, why is that so important to you? It's called the seven levels deep. Yeah, I, she keeps nearly. Boom, 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 right? Yeah. And, and she says to me, so what, why, why is that so important to you that your wife's proud of you? Why are you not just happy that you've made her happy? Yeah. Why does it need to be another layer for you to you you to and be inspired or be you know be? And I said I said we really got down to it. And do you know what it was? My inspiration. You know, I want my children and my wife and my grandchildren. I have two grandsons. I want them to be proud of me because I never felt anybody was. Mm -hmm. I grew up feeling nobody was proud of me. Nobody was happy with me. Almost unloved if you want to call it. And I come from a good family. Yeah. But that's how I felt. Mm. You know? Mm -hmm. um, but I was loved, of course I was loved. Yeah, yeah. But I maybe didn't feel it, or maybe wasn't told it, and maybe didn't feel that anybody was proud of me. So I went through my life feeling the lack of, mm. and now what motivates me, not motivates me, what inspires me and my why is for my wife and children to be proud of me. Mm -hmm. And here's one for you, even an extension of that, for me to be proud of me. That's nearly the hardest one, isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And uh, so that that that's that's my inspiration. Mm. You know. But your daughter does nearly look up to you, does she not? You know, oh, the I, yeah, 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 yeah. They are proud of me. Yeah, yeah. And so your son and all is a big supporter. They, they, yeah, yeah. they are proud. They are proud. They are proud of me. We've had these conversations. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Um, and it's it's a, that emotional intelligence. You know, we we have these conversations now. Yeah. 
we have these conversations open, now. Open, open. I have no yeah, problem. My children know I'm proud of them. Yeah. They won't go up not feeling somebody was proud of them. Yeah. I tell them every day. Mm. I have a 21 year old son. He gives me a hug and a kiss on the cheek when he's going out the door. Yeah. He'll be cringing when he hears it. He doesn't always give me a kiss on the cheek, but sometimes he does. <laughs> but, but I tell him I love him every yeah. day going out yeah. the door. Mm. They'll not grow up thinking somebody wasn't proud of them or that they, they lacked love or yeah. the expression of love. Yeah. You know? So, um, if, you're, if your son was to write a book about you, what would the cover be called? about you uh, I heard this question asked before and I thought uh, it was really that's interesting. interesting that's interesting driven beyond belief mm, that's Obs a good one. obsessed yeah driven beyond belief crazy yeah Cra crazily obsessed mm. Cra you are yeah 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. This, this, this isn't something I want you know or hoping or trying to achieve this is my life mm. I want and am doing what I do more than I want mm -hmm. to live yeah more than I want to breathe yeah and when you want something more than you want to breathe how can you not achieve it? There's nobody will stop me in my life. Nobody's trying to stop me. Yeah. But I mean, nobody would. Not even me. Mm. Something else I want to ask you here. I've asked this in, um, in our last podcast, but I thought it was really interesting. Anything. <clears throat> the response. If I was to unravel a blueprint of mm. how Gary became successful, what would be on that blueprint? <sighs> Starting off with a dream. Dream. Dream big. Don't, don't have any boundaries on what you can achieve or what you think you can achieve. Think the wildest thoughts, write them down. Yeah. As cringe as they are, as crazy as they are, write them down. Yeah. Um, have the courage to say them out loud. Don't keep them in your mind, because that's where they'll stay. Mm. Keep them in your head, they'll stay in your head. Mm -hmm. Say them out loud, and somehow you're, it's out there. You've said it. You know what I mean? Yeah. I've said countless times in this here, uh, talk with you about things that I'm going to do. That's out there. Yeah. You can be sure I'm going to do them, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Um, have the courage to say them out loud. Say, t tell your friend. Tell, tell somebody that you know cares about you, that wants you to do well. Be careful who you talk to. Say it to people that are, have got your well-being at heart. Say it to people that want you to do well. Mm -hmm. You'll feel that energy, that buzz. Mm -hmm. um, find a way. Find the way, there's always a way. When I started Think Network, my mother said to me, how are you going to make money from doing that? Where yeah. are you going to get money from doing that? You know what I said there? I said, for whatever the hell it is right now. Mm -hmm. I said, that's, that's, where are you going to find the people? I said, wherever the hell they are for right now. Yeah. I said, you think I'm going to start inventing, cloning people? Yeah. Or, 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 or growing money trees? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah. The money is wherever it is right now. The people are wherever they are right now. Yeah. What, you what, know, what, there's what no scarcity your, of thought. What was your parents saying when they saying take the safe options? No, nah, I didn't even I didn't even tell them did on it. Oh, did you? No, no, sure. I'm, I'm a grown man. I'm like I'm in my thirties, forty, forty. What was it? Forty two. Grown up. Uh, no, yeah. I didn't tell them. I did. I, I just do. Mm. And uh, my wife knew, yeah. and and she was a bit nervous, but she seen she she, she believed in me. Yeah. She believed That's in like me. Another person who. Yeah, 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 yeah. My wife, and my father-in-law were mm -hmm. peas in a pod. Yeah. My wife believed in me and backs me mm -hmm. all the way. The mm. good, the bad, and the ugly. Yeah. The mistakes, the failures, the warts and all. She backs me. And everything. I, and I back her. Everything. Yeah. I back her. She backs me. And she's one of the reasons I'm doing what I'm doing so successfully. Yeah. Is, she, is she a big part of it? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's a big supporter and a big confidant of mine and looks after, she looks after um, a lot of admin stuff behind the scenes and I couldn't do without her. Yeah. My daughter looks after all social media, graphics, uh, outreach and to, to, to current clients and making sure the client journey uh, is what it is. Yeah. And uh, yeah. And hopefully one of my sons will probably come in and help me. I think he uh, will? I think so. I have, one, I have one of my sons, it's very, the, he leaves school this year, so I, we, 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 we'll find a way. Uh, no better teacher. Well, listen, yeah. <laughs> um, he, he's, welcome, he's welcome to come in and do his thing and um, help his daddy. Mm. Is there um, anything else on your mind you want to sort of say when you're on the pod? <laughs> Good question. Good, que <laughs> good question. Here's one for anybody listening to this here, and it's something I'm really, really passionate about in Northern Ireland. Um, <clears throat> over the last, I'm going to say, year, um, I lost a bit of love doing things in Northern Ireland. You know, and I'll tell you why, right? And it's not that I'm this person that has any toxic energy towards other people or anything like that at all. Like, you've got to know me, I'm not like that. But <clears throat> I felt when I was, nobody knew me, let's say, right? Not that I, everybody knows me now, but when nobody, nobody knew what I was doing, <clears throat> everybody wanted to support. 
everybody wanted to help give you help up oh we'll go to gary's event oh we'll help gary you know and that's great and that and that mentality is good and we should help people right yeah. and i was very grateful for it and i am very grateful for it but then when you enjoy a level of success where you won a, the Ulster Tatler Businessman of the Year or you're up for a big award or your business has took off and now you're global, blah, 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 right? You don't get that love then. Yeah. You don't get that love then. You don't get the people that would have came to an event then, right? You don't get the people then that would congratulate you on winning the Businessman of the Year. Yeah. That's okay, I, I congratulate me. But, you know, and I'm nearly, it's nearly a rant you know what I mean? And uh, I just feel that we should celebrate success more in our con country. Ce and not only, not only celebrate success, celebrate other people's success. Mm -hmm. If you're listening to this and you're successful, that inspires me, that motivates me. You know, these guys doing this podcast motivate me. I was telling you that off, off camera earlier on, the quality of your work, the James, the really put out with James. Mm. I was buzzing for you with the quality of that there and I said to my daughter, I said, that, that, that's amazing, you have to watch that. We need to do something like that, that's, that's, that's brilliant. Yep. I buzz when you do well. Mm. You know, but that, that, you know. That's Ross's reality. Yeah, <laughs> Check them out. Yeah, I do only know something. That, that guy sounds as if I'm thinking, you know, as if I'm spouting that I'm a do -gear. It's not that. That's just how I am as a man. That's how I am as a person. You You're know? like that off camera. Yeah, you know yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm like that in my life. Yeah, yeah. I'm like that in my life. And I want other people to celebrate other people's success more and not begrudge it yeah. or not, not show them the love because, oh, Gary's got it figured out now. This isn't a personal rant either. This is just a gener general thing, you know. Let's celebrate the success of other people more. Mm. Mm. Use other people's success as motivation or inspiration or clarity or whatever you want to call it. Use that to do more and be more. Yeah, I've actually heard people talk about that, yeah. a similar type of thing. Yeah. Um, who've been on the podcast, yeah, yeah, yeah. actually. Yeah. It's really, really fascinating to hear. It's so true, man, like Whenever you nearly hit that next Ah, you hit that level. next level, it's like, you know, there's this analogy, right, that somebody told me a story. You're living in a house. You're living in this house, and you're driving a five series BMW, right? Let's just use that for example. And your neighbour pulls up. He changes the car, and he's driving a three series. He, he, he rolls in in a new three series BMW, and you say to your wife, "Fair play to Johnny. He's changed the car. Looks really well. Yeah. Fair play to him. They're doing well. You know. Yeah. Really happy to see that. Brilliant. Uh -huh. Brilliant. Johnny pulls in, and I don't know, an X5 top of the range or Range Rover Sport, and he pulls in. You're not turning around to your wife then and saying, oh, look, he's changed it. I said, how did he do that? Yeah. Or, God, they're spending a lot of money. Or he's got a bit ahead of himself. Or who do they think they are? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. There's that mentality. Now, that's, that's a very broad statement, but you get my point. Like, yep. you know, and it's a very broad statement to say everybody's like that because they're not. But there's, there's certainly too much of that. Yeah. You know what I mean? I celebrate other people's success. It, mo it gives me inspiration. It gives me, gives me fire. Mm. I think fair play to them. Yeah. You know, even people I'm not fussed on. Yeah. Because not every I'm not everybody's flavour, right? Mm. You know, or nobody not everybody's mine either. Yeah. And people yeah. listen to this and think, oh, he's, you know, I don't like the way he talks or the way he looks or whatever it might be. And I'm like that about you know as well. You don't have to like somebody, but you can appreciate somebody's drive or achievement or success or whatever as long as they're as long as they have int integrity and they're a decent person yeah like i don't be inspired off somebody that's successful that's doing it maybe illegally or immorally I, that doesn't inspire me mm. but good people doing well inspire me yeah 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 and, no, it, I hear you, yeah. and, and it's good people that inspire me more than their achievements mm -hmm. you know you could tell me you've done this 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 and this but be a total asshole yeah and I'm thinking, get to, in my mind, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. You're a nice guy and you've done all that there. That, that, that resonates with me more. Mm. Uh, who, who you are. Who you are. I'm a, I, I like people. Yeah. I love people. I love good people. Mm -hmm. And um, that's what I'm about, you know. So I just encourage, celebrate other people's success more. And particularly in Northern Ireland. And there'll be people jumping the comments in this, particularly in LinkedIn. And oh, well, we do, we do, we do, we do. And you don't. Mm. We don't enough. And maybe I don't enough either, mm. but at least I'm conscious enough to know I should. Yeah. And that's, I think that's my message from this podcast. Mm. You know, start off a bit of a rant, but it's more yeah. of a, it, but it's more, it's honestly, it's more of a desire that yeah. I want, that I want for you Northern talk Ireland. talk a lot about that, a desire. Yeah. Sort of, yeah. what is your desire nearly, you know what I mean? The desire, desire is wanting to be more, do more, be yeah. better, support more, uh, support more people, grow, add value. Desire, desire to do, to do better. Mm. Desire to do better, be better. 
starting with me. I want to be. I want to. I wanted to turn up here today for you early. Yeah. Fresh. Yeah. Enthusiastic. My best. Yeah. You know. Hopefully, I have. Yeah. Definitely. And 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 that was important to me. I didn't want to turn up five minutes before. Tired. No energy. Attitude. Yeah. Yeah. So being my best is important mm. to me. Mm. And guess what? Your best can change in levels. Your best isn't always 10 out of 10. Mm -hmm. Your best could be 7 out of 10 because you've had a row with the missus or you're having a burning with your mother and father yeah. or your money worry or whatever it might be. Yeah. But still do your best. Mm. And that could be 7 out of 10. Mm -hmm. And I think, you know, people think they're best. When people talk about doing their best and high performing, it has to be 10 out of 10 or 100% or 99. No. It's whatever it is in that given day that you can offer. Mm. Well, who do, who do you listen to? Who's sort of your top two or three people? In the world that I listen to for, for yeah, that sort of stuff? Yeah, just whenever you had earphones in, who do you sort of do take inspiration from? Do you want to know something? Some of the people I'm connected with, not, you're not, you're not your Gary V's or Grant Cardone's, them people are no better than me. Or you, you know, how do you measure success? They have more money? Yeah. Okay. You, you know, you, you're, you're no better a man than I am. Mm -hmm. You know, nobody's better than me. Nobody's yeah. better than you. Remember you saying to me the first time I met you for the coffee. I look you, up to someone. You said to me, you, you, you were talking about looking up to somebody, right? Yeah, yeah. You, 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 you mentioned me, right? You remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I said to you, don't look up to me. Look at me. Look sideways and think, mm. I like him. He's a good guy. He inspires me. Fair play to him. I can learn from him. Don't look up. Look, look at. Mm. You're, equal. I, yeah, you're, I, equal, you're equal to anybody. Yeah. Right? Mm. You're equal to anybody, as am I. And all those people that are uber successful, fair, they are, and fair play to them. Yeah. Like I'm happy, yeah. but they're no better than me. Mm -hmm. And I'll and I'll prove that, in in, in, in in measurable terms. No, I've never heard that before. So, I, so, thought, I thought it was interesting yeah. to hear that because whenever you told me that, I was like, yeah. whoa. Yeah, no, don't look up. I've never heard. You know. Look up's like you know, it's like it's like that goal. It's like claiming I have to achieve. I have to be as good as him. Mm. No. No, you are as good. Yeah. Yeah. You are as good, mm. you know, and I suppose who you, who you say I listen to, listen, there's two people, three people jumping into my mind and none of them, none of them are like uber famous, one of them's Chris Jarvis, he's a, he's a business partner of mine and shout out to him, he's the second most uh, watched TED talk in the whole of, whole of the world in 2022, good friend of mine, business partner, I listen to him, he mm. inspires me, I listen to a guy called Daniel Mangana, he's a... Um, He's an abundance mindset guru, he's into films and everything. I think he lives in Mexico. Big shout out to Daniel, confidant of mine. I listen to him. Mm. I listen to Cleona O'Hara. I listen to, here's one for you, I listen to myself. Mm. I've watched videos back of myself. Yeah. People think that's egotistical or whatever. Everybody has an ego. Mm. Everybody, every, you have an ego, I have an ego. Don't let it get out of control. Yeah. That's the key. That's when you become egotistical. But everybody's got an ego. Yeah. You know, as have I. Um, listen to myself. Do you know? Do you know what I do? I watch back the Ulster Tatler thing quite often when they, sh they were announcing my name and I come up in lights and the whole room and I and I and I and I and I, and I won that and it meant so much to me for my father-in-law and my wife and my family. I watch that back regularly. I watch it back every day, mm. and I feel that feeling again. You know, I inspire me. That's who inspires me. Mm. Me. Yeah. My children, my grandsons, my son. One of the youngest ever managers in Lidl in the whole Ireland. Big shout out to my son. Do you know what mm. I mean? Yeah. My daughter. Mm. She inspires me. Mm. Be inspired by the people that mean the most to you yeah. rather than people that'll never talk to you. How are you? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. People are it's inspired. People, people are inspired by these far off fields. No. Look in the mirror and be inspired. Mm. Talk to your children and be inspired. Talk to you and be inspired. Mm -hmm. Talk to me and be inspired. Yeah. You know what I mean? On your doorstep. Aye. Yeah. These podcasts are just of these, these, these successful people. They're just resources for me to, yeah. to take what I need in my life. I'm not taking inspiration from them. Yeah, They're all yeah. human beings. They're going to live and die like me. No, I like that. So, I like listen, that. I say that with no ego. <laughs> I, say, I, say, I, say, I say it just with humble confidence in myself. I say that with having self-worth, that knowing I, I deserve to receive abundance in my life, and um, that's how I should be thinking. Mm. No, but here, I appreciate you coming on. Uh, um, I appreciate you, you people. I know how busy you are. I've been trying to do ah, this for a long time. Ah, listen, it was about desire, wasn't it? Yeah, you yeah. know, timing for everything. Um, back when we talked about it, I should have done it then, and then I drifted and floated about, and, um, and then we met up again. I said, let's do this here. Yeah. No matter what, 
no matter mm. how. And we Get have, there, and yeah. uh, I'm grateful. Thank you. I know. No, one last one for you. Anything. If someone's looking to find out a wee bit more about Gary yeah. and what you're about, where can people find you on the socials? Instagram, Gary B. Doherty Official, LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter. Um, yeah, get reach out anytime at all. Um, if I'm not as responsive on my social media, um, I, my daughter looks after a lot of it. So, so, but drop me a line on my Instagram probably is the best place to get me. And you have an event coming up? Event, 31st of March, Think Resilience, here in Belfast, 10 Square. We're going to have a great evening. It's for charity, the Empire Project in Derry. We're hoping to raise probably two to three grand for them. And we're giving that 100% to charity. The sponsors cover the event costs. It's not about money, it's about giving back. And that's what we're going to do. And that's what we are doing. There you go. Thank you so much, Gary. Thank you. I appreciate Check out Gary ball. there and the event's coming up as well. Yes. And I uh, hope you guys have learned something and I will catch you guys in the next one.